Does Alabama have a quarterback problem? I think after the spring game and, and news being reported of Ty Simpson having an injury after the spring game, I think it's fair to have that concern if you're an Alabama fan. I think if you've kept up with any Alabama news or if you watch the spring game, I think it's fair to have some concern that there is potentially a quarterback problem. So I want to take a few minutes and talk about why I don't think there necessarily is, even though uh, the spring game wasn't necessarily a, a great showing for either quarterback. Uh, and from what we heard in spring practice, the quarterback play has, has been up and down. So let's take a few minutes. Let's talk about the spring game. We're going to have some clips showing of Milro uh, from last year, and then we'll have some, some clips showing of Simpson from his high school career, just so you can kind of get an idea of what each quarterback brings to the table, even though watching the spring game uh, kind of showed us wh where they are currently. So let's just recap the spring game real quick. Jalen Miller threw for two touchdowns, ran for one as well, uh, but his completion percentage was barely higher than 50, right? He was 19 of 37, also had two interceptions thrown. So real quick on on Miller, his biggest thing to, to, to me and probably to everyone watching him play and to Alabama fans last year is his consistency, right? Drives just aren't consistently fluid as he's in as of right now. It, it's not feast of famine, I would say, uh, but he's had to rely on the big plays, even like the, the the game or the throws that we saw during the spring game or the run. It was kind of the big plays that allowed him to have some success. So I think for him, it's just finding some consistency. Yes, he's got a big arm. Yes, he's extremely athletic. But I think he needs to find consistency uh, in playing the quarterback position. And, you know, he's still got time to get there. Uh, but I think that's probably the, the, the glaring issue right now is Miller Rose consistency, right? Uh, from the games that he played in last year to the spring game, the practice, you want him to just take hold and be consistent, make play after play, get the ball out quickly, be decisive in his reads. Uh, he took some sacks the other day too, and not all on him with both quarterbacks or some offensive line um, issues there. But I think Miller, his biggest thing is consistency. We're watching some of the clips of him uh, right now and, and later on this video from the game against um, what a and m and it shows some good plays it shows his ability to process the defense at times but he has to do that more than just a few plays here and a few plays there it has to be every single play so i think the biggest single miller will be consistent and you don't want to make plays to lose you games because if you're alabama you got a dang good roster all ready so ty simpson Rush for 58 yards on six carries. Had a really good juke that you probably saw if you were an Alabama fan that's making some, some headway here on Twitter. Uh, it was only 12 of 26 with no passing touchdowns. So not a great showing either. But with Simpson, like we mentioned earlier in the video, and it's just being reported, if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll link it in the I'll link the article in the description below. He surf, uh, suffered a, a thumb injury, right? It was actually on the first drive that he was in i believe the the, the quarterback sustained an injury on his thumb his throwing hand it hit the helmet of an offensive lineman oh i'm, I'm sorry on the team's third possession he hit the helmet uh, of an offensive lineman right so he saw already saw a, a hand specialist according to alabama rivals uh he's expected to be back a hundred percent by the time alabama opens up pre-season camp but with that said i think it's a it's it's still somewhat impressive that he was able to play um, through the game after suffering the injury, it's tough to hold on the ball, right? With with a thumb injury, it's a UCL, it's a it's a it's a ligament under the thumb, right? Not to be confused with the with the baseball injury, the elbow. Uh, and he was still 12, 26, or buck 55. Did throw one pick, uh, but had a few good job, a few good rushing attempts. So again. Still impressive he was able to finish it. I think that showed, you know, obviously some fight and some grit, but at the same time, maybe it showed why he struggled, right? Maybe it just showed that, hey, it's pretty hard to freaking hold on the ball whenever you uh, have a injury and you nail your thumb on an offensive lineman's uh, helmet. And guys, real, real quick, if you're watching this video and you keep up with us, thank you. We appreciate anyone watching. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. We put out quarterback content on a weekly basis from breakdowns to interviews to just quarterback videos like this, kind of updating everyone with what's going on in the, in the quarterback world, if you will. So if you're a fan of college football, any quarterback, uh, you know, interest at all, please consider subscribing. But right now, I think this is one of the biggest storylines in, in college football as it, as it relates to the quarterback position, the quarterback storylines. Who's going to be Alabama's quarterback? Is there a quarterback problem? I say no, even though it seems like there's issues right now, even though they've gone off there, you know, there have been rumors of, of them, you know, trying to get Tyler Van Dyke from Miami and exploring the transfer portal earlier this offseason with other quarterbacks. Seems like they're trying to replace one of these guys or have someone come in. 
I still don't think there's a quarterback problem, even though they've struggled as of right now. They've struggled in the spring game, even though Simpson injured his thumb. I think when it all comes down to it, that whoever ends up starting a quarterback this year is going to most likely be the favorites to lead Alabama to the SEC championship. Um, the last, I think the last eight starting quarterbacks for Alabama I read today have either led Alabama to a national championship or an SEC championship. So the fact that you have such a good roster all around you should be comforting for Alabama fans. And, and even if there are some growing pains with a new quarterback, you know, that's part of, that's part of a, a football and part of developing in that position. So while there might be some growing pains, there might be some issues as of now, I don't think there's a quarterback problem. I think whoever ends up winning the job is going to have a lot of success due to the roster around them. Real quick, what Saban had to say about the uh, quarterbacks and about this the spring game in general. He says, we've tried to build this program here with the guys that we recruit in the program. We've had a few guys that have come in and made real impacts on the team. And if we see an opportunity to do that, uh, we're always looking for a way to make our team better. So that just kind of hints that, yeah, if there's a guy in the transfer portal, maybe we, we, we're looking at him to uh, to come in and, and, and compete, right? Another thing he said, the biggest thing that, these, that the quarterbacks are working on right now, as far as Miller on Simpson, is the ability to process what the defense is doing. That's probably the toughest thing to do as a quarterback coming you know, from, from the high school to college level. Uh, Saban mentions, are they playing cover two? Are they playing cover seven? Uh, are, are they playing three deep zone, Saban says, so that you always have a plan in your mind. This is what I'm reading. This is what I'm going to do with the ball. This is the progression that I want to go through and trust in that and believe that and not start drifting around in the pocket before you give up on what your read might be. Because I think we have pretty good skill guys. I think we have guys that can make plays. I like both guys' athleticism to be able to extend plays and get out of trouble and make feet with and make plays with their feet, which they did a couple times today. But at the same time, I think we've got to work on going through progressions, developing confidence in the passing game so we can distribute the ball to other people who can make plays more effectively and more efficiently. Again, that's Nick Saban talking about the quarterbacks of uh, Jalen Milrow and Ty Simpson from the spring game and probably just from the, the his whole uh, the whole spring practice, right? Being able to process defense, read defense from pre-snap to post-snap, one of the toughest things to do as a new young quarterback. But you got so much, so many good talent, so much talent around you. Excuse me, in your skill position, guys. Uh, as Saban alluded to that if you can just make some 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 reads, get the ball out quickly, you're probably be in a position to succeed. So. Long story short, don't think there's a quarterback problem right now. However, I think it's fair to have concerns, but I trust that whoever takes the majority of snaps under center for Alabama uh, will, will have success this year. But Alabama fans, quarterback fans, college football fans, let us know what you think in the comments below. D -d Does Alabama truly have a quarterback problem? What should they do next? Uh, it's a great thing that Simpson's injury is not serious. He needs to be back you know, before camp. Uh, it's, not the best thing. it's not the best thing you want to hear, though. But again... Let us know in the comments below, and please consider subscribing, liking the video if you like this type of quarterback content. If you want to see more stuff in the future, we, we put out stuff on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.